Diana Olick is here with more details. Diana. Well, Kelly, after five months of total stagnation, thanks to Omicron, new office demand took off in March. It jumped 20 percent from February and was up just over 8 percent from a year ago. And that's from a monthly index by VTS tracking new tenant tours of properties in core U.S. markets. So it's an indicator of forward looking leasing. Despite the surge, though, demand for office space is still just two thirds of its pre pandemic average. Still, top office gainers are in Boston, Chicago, L.A., New York City, San Francisco, and right here in D.C. The demand is obviously led by employers calling workers back in. A new employer survey out this morning from CBRE found 36 percent said return to office was already underway. Just over a quarter said it would be underway by the end of this quarter. 13 percent said it was up to workers and just 10 percent were still uncertain. All right, so what does that mean for the office stocks? Boston Properties, as you said, doing better. Hudson Pacific and SL Green are still below pre-pandemic levels, but some are climbing back. Boston Properties just reported quarterly earnings beat the street. SL Green, which is New York City's biggest office landlord, just got an upgrade from several analysts. Return to office has already caused a drop in vacancies and rents are finally growing for the first time since the pandemic began. Kelly. It is a glimmer uh, that we all need in this market right now. Diana, thank you very much. Diana Olick. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.